Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to try to upgrade the firmware of the Sledge um, version 1 uh, from Studio Logic. If you go to their website, they give some instructions for this type of stuff. They, they say uh, with a, a Windows or Mac computer, you can use the uh, SysX librarian app. Uh, or, sorry, for, for the uh, PC, the Windows system, you could use a MIDI OX. Or I don't know if that's MIDI aux, what that is. Uh, but use one of those apps if you in in terms of taking the uh, getting firmware or updating libraries and stuff like that off from their list of software and sounds on, on their website. Um, they say the actual preferred method, however, would be to be some kind of MIDI sequencer and just to play it as a MIDI file. So I'm going to be using Logic Pro for that. And then, so all we're going to need to do is to connect a, a USB cable as a MIDI um, MIDI cable. So we're going to connect that and then we'll give her a try, okay? Okay, um, so we got the cable hooked up. And the instructions say to, to turn it on while holding down the panel button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I guess we got to turn it off first. And then turn it on quickly, hold the panel button. And the instructions say the display will show sledge upgrade weight. I didn't see that. Oh boy. Keep pressed. Maybe I did. Maybe I actually have to do it at the same time. Let's try that again. Say, so might have to give you a bad camera view for a second here. Let's see. So the button is pressed, and turn it on. It's a sledge upgrade. Wait. Uh, release the button. Okay. Download the firmware. Okay. Open it inside kind of sequencer. So let's go get our MIDI file. And show in Finder. Here it is. Oh, I gotta rearrange my windows a little bit here. Here's my sequencer. I'm just gonna drag and drop this MIDI file into the sequencer application. There it is. Huh. Yeah, I'm curious if we open up our list view, event list, it's all this sysx information, sysx, sysx. If we filter out all the sysx information, we have one MIDI note playing. That's pretty funny. Okay, enough fun. Let's go ahead and hit space bar and see what happens. So we'll hit the space bar. And it's playing along. And upgrade weight. Zoom out a little bit so you can see that it's at 120 beats a minute. It is about 35 measures long. Uh, on their website, while this is installing, there's a couple things you can do. In addition to upgrading the firmware, there are additional patches that you can download in a similar fashion. So if you go um, find this page and look for software and sounds, uh, this guy made some sounds. Theo, Theodis. I don't know what 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 his name is, but I, I took a listen to some of his sounds. They sound great, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've downloaded them, and we'll we'll give them an install as well. Try to do it the same way. Um, it might be possible installing the new sounds, or it, it might be necessary to download um, this application. It looks like it's free application. Hey, there was our one MIDI note. I wonder if that means it's done. Looks like it's finished. Um, so we may need this application in order to install the, the patches. I'm not sure. I believe you would need this software also if you want to save your patches from your sledge into your computer. If you want to make them available to friends or sell them or something, you would need something like this. All right, so I believe the instructions say to, to turn this off and turn it on. Let's confirm that. 
update information, turn off sled, and turn on again. And it'll be complete. And the display will show the new release number. It says so it'll turn off, turn on. Sledge version 1.4. Interesting. Okay. Huh. All right. Um, you'll see that I have 100. And I think that's all the patches we have. I go to 101. It's nothing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to download. And well, we can do that real quick. You already have everything here. So I wonder if I mute this. Stop. Let's import. That other, I've never tried to play a sysx file from Logic. Nah, it won't let me. All right, I'm going to sign off and download that application. I'll, we'll, we'll try to install this, these additional patches. All right, uh, the problem is Logic won't, you can't import a, an SYX file and play it, um, play that data into the, the sledge. So we've got to download a new application that will run it for us that can deal with a SYX file. Sorry, my camera's blurry here. It's cheap camera. Sometimes it helps if I do that. Okay. Okay. We've downloaded the SysX app and it's a very simple SysX librarian. And I think all we, we need to do is to drag and drop our SysX file. Find that darn thing. It's in downloads. Sorry, I thought I had this isolated. Oh boy. Oh, here it is. Theo. Theo Theo's Bank, whatever, whatever it's called. So we're just going to drag and drop that into Sysix Player. For reference, these files will be added to your library. The files themselves will not be moved or copied. If you remove the files, the library will. Be unable, unable to play them. You have to make sure the librarian can always find these files. You can move them to your SysX librarian folder, which is in your documents folder by default. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna open this app very often, so I'm gonna not check and do not open it again. All right, there it is. Um, so let's give it a try. And one of two things is gonna happen when I push play. It's either gonna install these patches in a new bank above 101. Hopefully that's what's going to do so it doesn't overwrite this the factory ones. And, but if it does overwrite the factory ones, it's the factory ones, then we're just going to have to uh, download the factory patches and reinstall them. So we, we are uh, going to operate under the assumption that if we break it, we can fix it. So let's go and give this a try. We'll push play and see what happens. Push play. It's sending message. Um, I don't know if it's doing anything. I'm gonna have to do the uh, like we did with the mini thing. I wonder if we can do that trick. So it's just about to finish up. I believe we'll have to turn off the sledge and turn it back on. So we'll do that. Turn it back on. Stay loaded. All right, so that's the default number one. So let's cross our fingers if I go to 102. If it says something, oh, it didn't work. 101, 100. All right, so we didn't install. So we'll try to do it a different way. We'll try to hold the panel button while we turn it on. Sledge upgrade, wait. We'll see if we have to do that first. File, sending messages, 51 messages, or I think it's 500 and something. There. Done. Okay. Now let's try to turn it off. Turn it on. Still the correct default. One, oh, two. Man, where do these things go? Try 700, 200, 300, 400, 700, 600, 800, 900. 
All right, looks like I'm gonna do a little research as to how to pull this one off. All right, we'll be back with you in a minute, hopefully. Okay, uh, I think I got it figured out. Uh, my problem was the default output on this application started off as bus one, and I tried different outputs, uh, different so options, and finally I think when I put it on out, uh, then when I ran the, um, the play button, it, it captured all the patches. So now starting, it's kind of cool. It gives you 100 patches that are blank. So if you want to program your own, you still have 100 slots. And th these um, these free patches from the company start at 200. So all, all kinds of cool patches. I think he gives, let's see, from 200 up to, oh, there we go. About 200 and, I think it's 128, no, 150. Yeah, so... There's 150, no, 50 new patches, excuse me. Yeah, okay, so 50 new patches, and they're, they're pretty cool. Um, I don't have my volume up right now, but uh, from what I heard on the website, they sound really good. So get those free patches. And, um, if you're on a Mac, use this SysX librarian. All you had to do was to plug in your USB cable, and in, in terms of installing these new patches, you just hit play on that application of the computer, then they, they show up here. All right, um, that's all I got for you guys. I hope this is helpful. I um, The SysX type of application is, can be really helpful. Um, once you kind of get over the learning curves, you can find SysX files that have patches for all kinds of vintage synths, even like the Yamaha DX7, maybe the Prophet, I'm not sure. But any kind of synth, chances are if you do a little bit of Google research, you can find free patches on the internet. Um, take advantage of somebody else's programming, creativity, and understanding. All right, I hope this is helpful, guys, and we'll see you around.